are now moon base number one. The idea of a manned base on the moon has been around for decades, and not just in the realms of science fiction. NASA's Apollo missions gave the science community huge amounts of information about the lunar surface, but the vast cost of the program and waning public interest saw it axed in the 1970s. Now scientists are again looking towards the moon and to Mars. Once you leave Earth orbit and you've committed yourself to an asteroid or onto Mars, you've cut off your support and you've cut off your supply line from, from Earth. So you have to uh, be resourceful. This honeycomb-like structure was built by a robotic 3D printer. Scientists used a mixture of dust exactly like that found on the moon. They added water and a type of salt which turned it into a concrete. They say this could be done on the moon and could form the building blocks of a future moon base. The team say using a robotic vehicle, or a fleet of them, to mix and then squirt into place the moon concrete would be faster, cheaper and safer than using astronauts to do the job. If you would today build the moon base with normal technologies, you would have to bring to the moon all the materials, all the tooling, the astronauts, then to build the moon base there. With this technology, what you just do is you, sh you send the machine to the moon, the 3D printer to the moon, and then you use the dust that you find already on the moon to build the moon base around the machine itself. The concrete shield would protect the mission from small meteor impacts and block out dangerous radiation. On certain uh, parts of the moon and on planets like uh, Mars, water does exist. And that really makes resupply a lot easier for uh, future astronauts. If the resources are already there, just take along the technology to extract them. We won't be setting up manned bases on other planets or on the moon for decades at very least. But when we do, new and innovative ways of building will be essential if we're going to turn science fiction into fact. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera at the European Space Agency Research Centre in the Netherlands.